are with you today, we will be with you tomorrow, and we will never, ever leave your side. And in this house, we will work to find a space for you to send a message that is so much needed to the world. Slava Ukraini and Slava Veliki Europe. Arfti Cekondi i prova fta karfti të shkonte ta me lezat pëllda në zmen se na ilu. The world we knew will now change because a fully fledged military invasion of one European country against another European country was something which I guess most of us all hoped would never ever happen again. Waqt li inti shaktar shkonta dej bil hajja ta kuljum fil kontinentana ftit mi li bot minna Ir-Russja bdiet invazzjoni militari fl-Ukrajna, f'dik li tfisret bħala l-akbar eskalazzjoni tal-konflitt li beda fl-2014. Call it liberation. No, we call it war crimes and we really have to give it this name. It was President Putin who was responsible for the most aggressive violation of international law in Europe since 1945 with the illegal annexation of Crimea and also the occupation of parts of the Donetsk and Luhansk region. And that's why we should have been tougher on the Russian Federation already after 2014 and we should have provided more support already before the war actually broke out to Ukraine. We will continue to give our support. 12 months ago, it was almost inconceivable that war could return to our continent. Today, it is just as unbelievable to think that Russia's illegal war has reached its one-year mark and shows no signs of abating. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has changed everything for all of us. It has shattered the lives of millions of Ukrainian people. It has meant that everything that we have been defending and promoting around the world about our way of life and our European values is at risk. Because this war is not just one against Ukraine, but one against the value-based system we have worked so hard to establish. Mil wehed u oshrein ta frar el fejn trein u oshrein meta l-president russu Vladimir Putin irrekonosha zoj regjuni fil-van ta l-Ukraina bħana independenti imbid luħafna farijet. Izda li baqa konsistenti kien l-appoċ kontinu ta l-Unjoni Europea u l-Parlament Europeu lejn l-Ukrajina. The European Parliament fully and unequivocally supports the independence, the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of Ukraine. I am pleased to announce that President Zelensky will address us shortly. I am here today as a representative of the European Parliament, of the people of Europe, to tell you one thing. We are with you. We are with you today, we will be with you tomorrow, and we will never, ever leave your side. Slava Ukraini. We will continue to give our support, financial support, economic support, helping Ukraine to reconstruct the destroyed infrastructure, the humanitarian support, which is so important, the millions of refugees who have left Ukraine. The European Parliament has encouraged the European Commission and the Member States to work towards starting the EU accession negotiations. From the very beginning, the European Parliament called for harsh sanctions against Putin and his enablers and spearheaded the historic decision to grant EU candidate status to Ukraine. The Ukrainian people deserve hope and a clear perspective for the European path. I am also proud of the global alliance that we have built. The rules-based world order remains strong. Putin miscalculated not only the courage and resistance of Ukraine, but the strength of the democratic order. He fundamentally mistook our debates for weakness and he has already started to pay the price. Our solidarity will not waver, not until Ukraine wins and peace is restored. And when we speak about peace, we need to be clear. There can never be peace without freedom, dignity 
and justice.